All right, guys, so our second main topic here is going to be a combination of like two things. One of them is a little bit smaller one, but we just recently had an announcement about the Green Lantern series. So that, that, like, they, they, kind of like with Black Adam, they announced this Green Lantern series, I think, around the time Justice League was in development. If I'm not mistaken, that's when like we first got word that like they're going to be doing it. Like like one was in talks to happen, and then around the time HBO Max was like gearing up to be launched, it was kind of confirmed that they were going to be doing the Green Lantern series or Green Lantern Core for HBO Max. And we have, and there's been pretty much radio silence, pretty much ever since then. So we haven't really had any Green Lantern information since the announcement back around the time HBO Max it still hadn't come out yet. This was before HBO Max even launched. They said that this is going to be something that we're developing for HBO Max and Green Lantern Corps. And we got our first bit of casting information for it. And it's a bit, it's more interesting. And it's kind of an oddball choice, more so than you would really think initially. You think it'd be, as, you know, we got our Hal Jordan or we got our John Stewart or even our Alan Scott or Kilowog, something like that, some big name thing. Not that Guy Gardner is not a big name, but that's our first casting announcement for the show in general is that they found their guy Gardner and uh, it's going to be played by Finn Whitrock. The only thing I ever saw him in was one of the, I think the season of American Horror Story that Lady Gaga was in. I like Lady Gaga. So that was obviously the only reason I even watched that season for it. Cause I kind of fell off the American Horror Story bandwagon after the witch one. I think it was called Coven. Um, Granted, I, it, honestly, I can't remember the order of everything, but I think that was season three. And then the one with Lady Gaga may have been season four. So that was probably the last one I watched that was, I might be wrong about that. Who cares about that, though? But realistically, that was the only thing I've ever really seen him in. So he was OK in that show. Um, I don't, he wasn't very, playing like a very Guy Gardner-esque person. So, like, I'm sure he's good. Um, like they obviously would have vetted him in some ways. I'm pretty sure he's been nominated for some Emmys and some other things. So it's never a bad thing to add talent. And I'm sure this dude's talented and can do the party, obviously knock some stuff out and like, you know, audition processes and things like that. I just find it more interesting that it's Guy Gardner so far, because we haven't had really any confirmation as to what this show is actually going to be about. I think we've had some news like come out in the past that suggested that it wasn't going to be following Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart, which I always thought was a very odd choice because for like 90% of humanity, Hal Jordan or Jon Stewart is Green Lantern. So it's kind of odd, even if they didn't come first, like that's, that's who everybody is. Cause like we got word. I'm pretty sure they said that like Alan Scott's going to make an appearance in here. It almost sounds like they're going to be doing like sort of an anthology series in all honesty. I don't know that for sure. But if they're going to have Alan Scott and like Guy Gardner and maybe John and Hal, I don't know. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. I kind of have always speculated that if the show's not going to focus on John and Hal, that maybe the show is about like Guy Gardner and the other Green Lanterns, like trying to find them because they're missing or something. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And the other little tidbit here of news here is we got the the aforementioned Flash movie we were just talking about for the DC fandom event. We have some set photos, and I've said forever that like until I see set photos and everything, I don't believe this movie's actually happening. But I guess we got our first set photos, and it's of the Wayne Manor, which is pretty cool. And this is supposed to be Keaton, Batman's Wayne Manor. It's been so long since I've seen any of the Keaton films, in all honesty, that I cannot confirm nor deny if this is actually Keaton Manor. But that's what the reports were saying. I'm going to go with what reports are saying. But it looks cool. It doesn't look like Ben's, you know, Batflex Wayne Manor. So I'm going to have to go out on a limb and say this is definitely Keaton Manor. It looks cool. I'm very cool. It's going to be fun to see him. Like I said, I, I, I'm more excited just to see, even though it's a Flash movie, I'm kind of more excited in a lot of ways it's just to see the, the, the Batman stuff. Then because Batman is my favorite DC character. You know, no surprise by any means. But. Rick, John, do you guys see this? What what the what kind of what, what do you think is more interesting here? This Green Lantern news, this this you know like this picture of the uh, Wayne Manor. What what's got you excited here? Who is Guy Gardner? Like I know that sounds incredibly <laughs> ignorant, but like is he that red haired guy? Yeah, he's the okay. guy. He's the the, the guy who's cut. on the screen with him. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the dude with the red hair bowl cut. He looks evil. Well, he's kind of like a douche. 
Oh, like okay. he's kind of yeah. like a di- he's imagine like a Boston dickhead, like a Mark Wahlberg kind of cocky, like douchey yeah. kind of dude. But like you like him, and he's a good guy. He's just kind of a douche. He's an like he's him. very arrogant. Yeah, he's yeah. he's 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 like a he's like the 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 high school bully of of the DC universe. He like, looks like you know. that. That's um, pretty much. It's a good representation. It really is. Yeah. Which 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 to me makes this casting i mean i yeah i don't i've never seen this kid in anything that they cast Neither so probably. he may be a great actor he may be he may have a lot of range to him or whatever but like that is not the uh headshot you go with when you announce this news like he looks like a pretty boy there and guy gardner isn't a pretty boy guy gardner is the guy making fun of the pretty boys and like giving them a hard time and stuff so very interesting um casting choice here with this as far as i'm concerned like I, i'm very curious to see where they're going with this I'm trying to see i saw a picture of him a while ago where he had a little bit of longer hair not the, the same haircut as the guy thing. gardner has longer hair but like um this was supposed to be a much bigger picture here let's we'll just do this if they keep him with like this kind of hair I don't know. Maybe I, I'm more maybe. curious about if they're gonna dye it orange or if they're just right. gonna like not dye it orange, you know, and keep them just, just like a brown haired dude. Just because, unlike Rick here, who thinks that freaking the eye color of people is important when they're playing a character, it doesn't matter if he has orange hair or not. Like unless the the story is gonna be centered around people making fun of him for being a ginger, then there's absolutely no reason his hair will need to be orange. Eye color totally matters in some cases. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Give me one reason where it matters. Give me because one. Because I know what you're talking about is the uh, Ezra Bridger thing. Yeah. He's got bright blue eyes. Like, that's a, a notable What does feature, that have but... to do with any story or plot or anything following Ezra B- Bridger as a character? It doesn't, but How they did it with it, Ahsoka. Exactly. What? They did it with Ahsoka. Like, she had crazy blue eyes. Yeah. And it just looked good, but I, I yeah. But you were saying right. that, like, when we were talking about the uh, the kid who is going to potentially be playing him, I forget his name. You, you commented like, "Well, his eyes aren't whatever color," and it's like, if they really wanted him to have that eye color, they could make him have that eye color. Well, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter that he doesn't have the, the no, eye color. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just hope that they like give him that eye color because that's a notable feature. I think no different than the guy Gardner with like the uh, red hair. You know. Yeah, I don't care. But, Bane being a big ass dude who injects venom in him is a notable feature of Bane, and they didn't make him that way in the Nolan movie. You know? No, they didn't really explain anything with that. No, not really. So, but yeah, what do you think about the Wayne Manor? I know, John, you're the you're the foremost eighty nine Batman <laughs> fan here. So yeah, definitely. What, I mean, that's that's that? straight. That hits, that hits me straight in the feels. Those pictures right there, because that if that's not the exact same manner that they used in the first one, then uh, then I don't even know what to say. I mean, I I think that that looks exactly like how I remember uh, the manner from '89 Batman, and I love that movie. So uh, I'm, you know, that makes me super excited for you know this is this is again one of those things where. I'm getting really excited for this, but I'm also trying to keep in the back of mind. This is a flash movie. Like this manner may be on the scene for 30 seconds. You know, it may be the flash popping into the manner just to say now, maybe more of it will take place. I mean, based off the flash point comic book. So there is some, there are some things that happen at Wayne Manor um, that they require them to be there a little longer. So maybe they will spend a nice chunk of the movie here. Um, but I hope I hope it I hope they do. I hope it's not just a quick like pop in like, oh, yeah, by the way, remember this. And then and then they're gone. Are you kidding me? Why you have this photo <laughs> album on your site, but then you like password protect the image viewer. But it does. This is a that's exactly pretty much it. It looks like I mean, that's like spot on. It's too much. Too far back. We got that. Yeah, that's close. That's pretty. It's pretty much the same thing. Could be a different angle. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally it. It had like the round dome things on the front. Definitely yep. a manor. That's definitely it. Yeah, that's definitely it. They're making it. So that's definitely, yeah. I'm, I will confidently say and agree with the article that, that is going to be the 89 Batman manor. So, 
Oh, I think it's weird. I'm curious what they're doing with this because of the multiple Batmans in it, but no announcement of Thomas Wayne with it being a Flashpoint movie, you know? It's like, or a Flashpoint esque movie, you know? Because it, it's yeah. it's interesting that they're gonna have Batfleck in it, which the current timeline Batman really didn't play a part in Flashpoint till the end of the the story, like after Flash was there, after he gets back, he explains to Bruce everything that kind of happens. Because it would mean something to Bruce that he was there with his dad and everything. So I don't know. I find that kind of interesting. Well, I mean, they're going to have Keaton Batman in it and not Thomas Wayne Batman. Yeah, I have a feeling that Affleck's appearance will be prior to. I mean, if if everything that we're hearing from Warner Brothers and sources that are reporting on Warner Brothers is correct. If if they are truly moving away from the Snyderverse stuff, if Ben is done playing the character of Batman, then I have a feeling that Barry Ezra Miller's character goes to Ben Affleck's Batman and says, like, look, you know, you lost a parent, I lost a parent. Maybe there's some connection and and Bruce, like, gives him the idea that, you know, maybe he could go back and save his mom or something. I don't know. I feel like the the Ben Affleck part of that would be at the beginning of the movie. And then the movie would be Barry undoing or, or causing a ripple in the time stream or a ripple in the in the multiverse that then he crosses over to Keaton's universe and Keaton is Keaton takes on the Keaton's Batman takes on the Thomas Wayne and that they don't do a direct adaptation of Flashpoint. They just take the idea of Flash going back to fit, save his mom, waking up and realizing that the world's gone different. And so when he goes to Batman and, and once he's changed the world, it's no longer Ben Affleck's Batman. It's Michael Keaton's Batman right. and then playing it out from there. I'm just hoping when he shows up in that manner, it's not just Keaton Batman, that there's like a Terry McGinnis guy in the, in, in the cave with him, you know? Yeah. That's what I'm hoping more than anything. Like, that's, I, I want that more than more than anything. And I know, like you said, it's a Flash movie, but because of all the Batman stuff in it, I just keep thinking about the Batman stuff. That's all it uh, seems yeah. like. It's all Batman. News. We haven't even got information about Zoom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I- like well, and that's that's it's the part of this. Movie, man. That's the whole part of this thing that's getting a little little. I'm a little worried about is like they've got to introduce a villain. I'm assuming, maybe not. <laughs> they don't feel like they need to, but I would think you'd have to introduce a villain. I mean, I don't think that they can rely on the fact that everybody watched the CW Flash show to know who um, the Reverse Flash is. Um, but we'll see. They could I, leave I, that know, part out, I guess, because they. Like you said, they could just focus on the the changes that occur by Barry going back and, you know, presumably saving his mother. And then, yeah. you know, he wakes up and it's Keaton Batman. And maybe just like in Flashpoint, they're stuck between the Amazonian and Atlantean War. Maybe there's something else like that going on, like just some global incident. And like that's there's, there's not like a villain per se, but. The, the the villain is him having to like change what he did, you know, mm-hmm. like he, he, he really messed some stuff up here. And like, this is going to focus on like that kind of stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it yeah, kind of would I, make more sense for zoom to be involved somehow, but I'm not zoom. sure I ever c- completed my thought, but I, I, so I think that Ben Affleck will have something to do at the beginning, but by the time you get to the end of the movie, you won't get another appearance by Affleck's Batman because he will have been erased or whatever. Um, or 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 Barry will be in a different world at that point. Right. That doesn't include him. Yeah, that's the way. See, I'm excited for it either way, just because it is so interesting, you know. And the mm. fact that it's uh, taken so long for him to get it going, I hope they can like because they've taken so much time that the movie's actually good. True. Like, yeah. Above above all, you know, like the Batman stuff's going to be cool, hopefully, and all that stuff. But like they've been working on this thing gone through like 18 different directors and 10 different writers and like it's finally happening so i just hope it's good after all this it's i'll it. say this too like this is pretty far down like batman is my favorite dc character flash is in my top five and yet this movie is way down like i 
didn't like Flashpoint, the series, like the comic book series. So when they talk about, I know it has a uh, historical place in the DC universe because of the resulting New 52 that came out of it and the relaunch of everything. But I didn't like the story to begin with. And then I really didn't like the New 52. So there's nothing about Flashpoint or that story that makes me excited about this the, this this adaptation. I, I hope that they make drastic changes from what they did in the comic. It seems <clears> like they are. I mean, yeah, you know, like without a doubt, because like I said, there's been no mention of Zoom, no Atlantean War stuff and Amazonian yeah, no War Gal stuff. No Gal Gadot, no. Yeah, no Thomas Gizmo. Wayne. I mean, and all this yeah. stuff could happen, but there's been no announcement of it. Just the very fact yeah. that like there's a different Bruce Wayne Batman is kind of, I mean, technically speaking, I guess we have never been told that he's playing Bruce Wayne. I guess it hasn't actually been confirmed. They've just said Keaton's going to be in it. So everyone's assuming he's playing Bruce Wayne. They could be pulling a fast one on everybody and saying that he's actually playing Ben Affleck's father, Thomas Wayne. That's true. You know, you never know though. Why wouldn't they get Jeffrey Dean Morgan to do that? I have no idea, but you never know. Like, who the hell knows? I would I would be willing to put like a million dollars on the fact that they're not doing that just because we have these set photos now. Why why would they go back to the eighty nine Batman? Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> just for more fan yeah. service kind of stuff, that's like true. Easter eggy kind of things. <clears throat> like I don't know. I would make less sense to me to do that. But I like, think I think honestly, the, I the think the first week in that movie comes out and the word gets out that Michael Keaton is not playing Batman; that he's playing Thomas Wayne. Everybody would be like. What that's dumb, and they would tank their box office the rest of the way. I don't Probably. know. Probably, I don't think it'd be a good decision. But <laughs> no, yeah. but at the same time, it doesn't. The WB doesn't make good decisions. It, so, exactly. Yeah. So like, I'm not. I, it could be anything. Like that's why. Like True. above all, I just yeah, hope maybe, it's good. Maybe we're we're coming at this from a from a from the side of rationality. Mm-hmm. Let's come up with the most absurd, dumbest ideas that we can come up with, because that's probably where we'll be more likely to hit on stuff. Yeah, because I mean, this movie's gone through like not only has it just been in so, like development hell for the most part, but it's gone through a lot of different iterations because there's been so many different writers on it, and it kind of started out as being a a flash cyborg buddy cop kind of movie. That's not happening at all because like yeah. now it's you know it, then it turned into being Flashpoint, but like now it's not even really Flashpoint. So who knows? I'm 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 curious to see where the hell it goes though, and I just I, like again, I just just hope it's good. I don't care what they do in it as long as it's good right you know unlike mortal Kombat, you know what i mean it was like <laughs> i wanted some good fights in it and i got that but it wasn't good like you know what i mean so that's where i just hope that is so question is though guys what do you think about this are you excited that you know we, we're getting the 89 batman wayne manor in there so like seemingly like john said confirming that michael keaton is indeed playing his bruce wayne i guess i think maybe now i'm thinking about it maybe they have said that but i might be confusing it with alfred molina saying that he is playing doc ock from that movie so i might be mistaken but i can't remember i can't remember off the top of my head right now if it's actually been 100 percent confirmed that he is playing 89 batman bruce wayne i think it may have it probably has either way i'm sure i'll get corrected down in the comments regardless so but let us know what you think about this and then the Guy Gardner casting and not anyhow Jordan News or anything like that down in the comment section below. 